Hey everybody, Briquette here showing how to unlock all 11 characters in Uptown in LEGO City Undercover. It looks like he landed way of course. To get the Roman soldier, we need to get up onto the billboard that's almost at the airport. The easiest way to get up there is with a jetpack. My game is very bugged at this billboard. It tries to throw me off to the right at the bottom, like right here, and off to the left as I jump up. Did you see that? It was much worse other times I tried this. I've restored my game several times and it's still very glitchy. You might have no problem with it though. But if you don't have the jetpack or if it's not working for you, you can try getting up there the way the game seems to want us to go, which I'll show you after I get the token. Please see the description below this video for the times of the character tokens if you want to skip right to them. Right after buying the Roman soldier, I'll show you the chicken glide way of getting him. What's up? The Roman soldier is a special two in the civilian category and costs 10,000 studs. <laughs> now I'll show you how to get up there with a the chicken glide from the airport restaurant. If you don't have the jetpack, you can just go around to the right. Since my game is so glitchy for this character, I thought I'd try turning off the fall rescue red brick and see if that helped. I got up to that balcony once from this table, but it's not too easy. We can get a closer table by using this space crate over here. Luckily, I have the Super Astro Crate Red Brick on. Now we have a closer table to jump from. We can get up this way without the jetpack. We need to aim right for the middle to get to that Lego wall. The first million times I tried this, <laughs> I would get through the first two circles, but not the third. Usually in this game, if you can get through the first circle, you can finish easily, but not with this one might work for you. If not, you can come back later after you get the jetpack. Here's where we got the Roman soldier character token. The Kevin Jacobs character token is really close in an arcade. She's late again. Kevin Jacobs is a resident in the civilian category and costs 2,000 studs. Over here is the first of four bubblegum ball machines for the janitor. Sorry, it's an emergency. I figured this was quicker than turning around. Sorry. Maybe not. But that was fun. <laughs> My boss will be living again. 
Here's a second gumball machine by the toy store. That's where the second one is. Here's the third one. That's where we are. And the last one is way over there. <laughs> And here's the fourth bubblegum ball machine for the janitor. I should spend more time with yeah! I can't believe I only get a lousy half hour for lunch. <laughs> The janitor is in the service civilian category and costs 2,000 studs. The first fishing rod pole for the gladiator is just down these steps. Did I remember? Here's the second fishing pole. And here's the third fishing pole, or rod, for the gladiator. Yeah! The front of that building looks so cool. This is where the third one is. And the token is around this corner on the hey, upper level. Gladiator is a special two in the civilian category and costs 10,000 studs. I already built the disguise booth in all of my saved games, but I found a recording of it. driver is in the service civilian category and costs 2,000 studs. Ouch. Paul Wimpany is not too far from here. He's a new character in the remastered version of this game. There he is. Paul Wimpany is a resident in the civilian category and costs 2,000 studs. He was one of the designers of this game. Now I'm heading on over to the free run for the cowboy. I love this place. The free run is across the street from the toy store. We have to unlock it first, of course. Here's a shortcut to unlock the free run or to arrest the gang, and we can get a small super brick. I'm a little nervous.
nervous about this. <laughs> wow, just made it. Here's the normal way to get over there. I'll speed this up since we're going to do it all over again when we do the actual free run. Wow, what happened to him? Now we have a free run icon on the map. Nope, one block over. <laughs> Here's the uptown free run across the street from the toy store. It's late again. We need to pick up all four clock tokens, like that one. Here's the second clock token. There's the third clock. And there's the fourth clock. Oops, I missed it. <laughs> the jetpack doesn't work very well with those bouncy things. You don't need them anyway if you have the jetpack. And we're right back where we started, across from the toy store. The cowboy is a special one in the civilian category and costs 10,000 studs. <laughs> I think he's biting a coin to see if it's real or not. Now I'm going to go get Officer Park over the Herbert Hotel entrance. This is an emergency! <laughs> There's the Herbert Hotel where we can get Officer Park. <laughs> I can't get the camera to go up high enough. There we go. Officer Park Police costs 20,000 studs. Police business. Now I'm going to get Pharaoh and Bucky Butler. Hey. <laughs> Here's a gold color swapper for Pharaoh and Bucky Butler. There are also a bunch of color swappers over the art museum, but this is closer to the Pharaoh and Bucky Butler and much easier to get to. The Pharaoh character token is in front of the Natural History Museum after we paint this statue gold. Pharaoh is a special one in the civilian category and costs 10,000 studs. Uh 
<laughs> King Tut. <laughs> Here's the first of two statues we need to color gold to get the Bucky Butler character token. The other one is in the back of the museum. Nope, that doesn't go through. <laughs> Bucky Butler is a criminal and costs 10,000 studs. That's where we end up after getting Bucky Butler. <laughs> to get the Mike Northeast character token, we need to get to the top of the art museum over there and chicken glide to the Natural History Museum or we can fly over to the crash mat on the Natural oh. History Museum, which is where we just were. It's possible to jetpack up to here, but it doesn't always work. Yeah. I don't like this. That might be a gold color swapper too. It's hard to tell what colors they are. You don't need the jetpack here, but it makes it easier. And of course, spam the jump button. <laughs> While you're up here, you can conquer the district by jetpacking up to this pole. I'll show you how to do that at the end of this video. Also, there's a crash mat over there that you could crash on from a helicopter. I always like to get a running start with these chicken gloves. I sped this up because it takes so long. Just in case. <laughs> Mike Northeast is a resident in the civilian category and costs 2,000 studs. He was also one of the designers of this game. I hope I got that job. I'm just showing that it's possible to get up here with a jetpack. <laughs> And here, I'm going up to conquer the Uptown District before chicken gliding over to get Mike Northeast. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button, which I really appreciate, and subscribe to see when I upload new videos. See you next time!